Okay, as indicated before, we have 73% of our variable explained variable on PC1 and 22.9 explained by variable PC2. Hello. So today we're going to go through making a principal components analysis in R, also known as a PCA. So you will need to load DevTools package as well as the biplot package. If you're unfamiliar what a PCA is, it's a way to represent multivariate data tables as a smaller set of variables in order to observe trends, jumps, clusters, and outliers. And it can show relationships between your observations and variables and among the variables. It's quite a powerful plot to use, especially in uh, plant sciences, metagenomics, and so on. So today we're gonna use the common data, the iris data set. And we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five columns broken down. We have all these observations and measurements, and we have it broken down by species. However, they're based on independent variables, so any dependent variable must be removed. Therefore, we are removing the species column. So in this chunk of code, that's what we're doing. We're calling our data PC, PR comp. So making the sub data set PC, we do a PR comp. So it's computing our uh, components here. We're removing column five, which is the species column. And we're gonna center and scale our data. And the scale function is used for normalization. So after running that, we want to see what scale looks like. We can see below here in the console, we have our scale and normalization for each component within our data set. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. We're gonna print our results, which will get standard deviations and loadings provided. So if you do print PC, you get your standard deviations and you also get your principal component analyses in their uh, values based on sepal length, width, petal length, petal width. Now this alone can show you what is positive in correlation or negative in correlation. So there's a strong correlation at sepal length and petal length, as well as petal width, but it might be negatively correlated with sepal width. If we do a summary, you get your first principal components right here, which will explain your variability. The proportion of variance is 7.7296. PC2 is 0.2285. Now let's move on to making the by plot a good way to visualize these statistics on a graph. So proportion of our variance, again, PC1, we can expect to see about 73% being attributed to PC1 and about 23% or 22.8% being attributed to PC2. Loading the DevTools package and the Biplot package. If you don't have Biplot already installed, go to install underscore GitHub, and this is what you will quote. If it's hard to see, I will zoom my screen in, and here we are. You can hopefully see it better now. So now we're gonna make the biplot. Using GG biplot, we take our PC, which we just made, and, has, and that withholds our principal components. We're gonna do an observable scale set to one, which essentially means we're not setting it to any particular scale. We have our variable scale set to one for the same reason. One indicates we are not setting it to any indicated scale. Now in PC, we remove the species column. So we want to group though by our species column to see if there are differences or similarities amongst the species based on sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. So we're gonna call upon the iris data set and say we wanna group it by species. That's why this is here. This could be all that you need to create your biplot. However, it's good to create ellipses and show indications of where these trends lie. So if you want to add ellipses, you set ellipse to true and set circle to true. Now, ellipse is true, so it draws an ellipse around the group of points in the plot, which represent the probability density. 
circle is set to true for plotting a unity circle in the plot, which will represent the correlation structure of the variables. And we set ellipse probability to 0.68, which is telling us that we want the ellipse to encompass around 68% of the observations for each group. If you're working with your own data, I recommend you determine how much you want to encompass with your ellipses. It's going to vary based on your project. We create the variable G, so all of our biplot is withheld inside G. And now we want to scale color discrete, so that way our points are, are colored within the biplot. We want our theme to have the legend direction horizontal. It's going to place it at the top. So it's going to be horizontal and at the top of our plot. And now we can print and see our by plot. Okay, as indicated before, we have 73% of our variable explained variable on PC1 and 22.9 explained by variable PC2. You have your groupings of your species colored Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica in red, green, and blue, respectively. Your ellipses encompass about 68% of that variability. And this circle here kind of sets it up in the center. The arrows indicate the strength of the correlation. So we can see that petal length and petal width are highly correlated, with sepal length also being strongly correlated with those two variables, whereas sepal width is not really correlated to any of those three. Let me know if you have questions, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Appreciate your time.